Hey everybody, just wanted to mention that I went to, um, it's just a quick video, went to Restore, which is a, a warehouse owned by Habitat for Humanities, and anytime they clear out an estate or a house and they're getting ready to rebuild it or take the, the property in and build a new home or, or rebuild the one that's there, they take out all the stuff so that it doesn't end up in the landfill and they take it to a warehouse that they own. And in Indiana, we call them Restores. I don't know if other states have those or not. But I went today and I actually had like 15 bucks on me and I thought, okay, there's my cap. I can only spend that much money. This is what I purchased. This is uh, two bags of both coarse and fine steel wool. It was three bucks for those. This is a pneumatic tool. I have no idea if it actually works, but there are two of them. This one's still in the box and it looks like it has all the piece parts with it. Again, no idea if those work, but I figured for two bucks, if nothing else, we'll make a, a lamp out of them or something. The green one's kind of cool for uh, using as a lamp. Could put a bulb in the end of it, maybe. Uh, so that's that. These are $4 a piece, and they are packed full of all kinds of goodies. I am a sucker for these kinds of little... Check that out. Big stack of washers. I'm a sucker for these types of cabinets, so let's just see what's in. Those tiny brass nails, those will come in handy. The copper stuff I do. That's the end of a bicycle handlebar. See, I knew it was meant to be. Random screws, and a lot of times, you know, I, I'm building something, like in this bike project that's sitting up on the table here. Uh, this all rusty looking stuff you know if you put new stuff on there it doesn't look the same like this one here is a new one and it just it doesn't look as good that old crusty stuff looks better and see somebody's replaced this with a some kind of an allen or hex head so the the reason i buy these is for that because these are already kind of and i'm a sucker for springs I didn't even see those in the store <laughs> good score Hose clamps, tacks, all that kind of stuff, all those goodies. Those rubber seals, O-rings. That's a lamp piece right there. The hanging lamp. You put that in the lamp pile. Your razor blade. Not your finger. Now, let's see where we ROTC. That might make a good head badge. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. And the dog just jumped on the door saying she wants back in. So let me go grab her and we'll keep on pawing through that. Muggy days like today. It's really muggy and hot for an October. October 2nd and it's, it's just boiling out there. It's kind of hot. Hard on a black dog. Uh, just random. It's a cabinet uh, closure. What's in here? Where are we at? Adhesive capsule. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll open that up later and figure out what that is. More springs. Looks like curtain hardware. There's a bicycle. A bike chain? Some kind of chain. It's threaded though. You see that? It's got threads in it. That's interesting. It doesn't feel real heavy duty. A little bit of chain. More hose clamps. Eye hooks. Putty stick. Christmas lights. Those are our Christmas lights. Old ones. Light bulbs. That actually, this one here looks like a, a little bicycle. 
lights. Oh, random screws. Oh, those two are stuck together. Must have a busted slide. More random screws. There's a buckle. Keep that out because that'll be perfect for the belt we're going to wrap around that guy. Oh, these always come in handy too. There's several of those on the back of the Allstate trailer. And I actually just um, scored another one. Those are some big ones. All right, there's cabinet one. Let's see if does that actually have. Yeah, there's one of the slides are broken in that one. So put the bottom one in first, and this one can sit on top of it. Behind drawer number two, right over here, the speaker. Oops, syringe that probably needed to go on the floor. Alligator clips come in handy. There's a couple copper ones. Ooh, those are kind of fun. We may have to use those on this bike build. Some fun stuff in there. I wonder if the speakers are. Eyelets, colored eyelets. A couple fuses. Hmm. A lamp finial? It's not threaded though. We could take that. Fuse extractor. Never seen one shaped like that before. Uh, faucet parts. Upholstery tacks and random screws. Here's a button. Doorbell? I think that's a doorbell. Might be a good kill switch. Yeah, keep that out. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, could make one of them a horn. Some kind of little game. Get the car away from the house. I don't need to throw that away. Let's just in my way. Uh, got plenty of uh, nuts and bolts and screws. Water nuts. Please. There's another spring. Fuses. I'm a sucker for little containers like this too. There's a couple in there. Scissors. Little sticky scissors. Kid will think those are cool. Uh, shelf brackets. Uh, hose clamps. Go let this uh, bust this house. Go let these. Uh... Oh, 
that actually says Habitat for Humanity on it. That's where these came from. Here's a copper, copper washer. We can put that to good use on this build. There's another one. No, that one's just rusted. That's a lamp piece there. Lamp washer. And just odds and ends. Drywall screws and wire. So I think that was uh, well worth what we paid. I'm anxious to try those and see if they work. I probably won't get to that today, but just thought I'd share a little quick little video on uh, kind of the the store I actually go picking in. I go to the Bloomington Community Bag Project and restore a lot when I get the opportunity. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll put all of that stuff to good use at some point. Hopefully you'll get be watching when I do that. And yeah, I'm thinking that head badge be just about perfect. Our tank's gonna hang just a little bit lower than it is currently hanging. I don't see why that won't work. Figure out a way to... It actually is threaded, so we could just drill a hole that only goes through the front tube, thread it in, or weld a nut onto the front of it and thread it in. I don't know. We'll play around with it. I like that there, though. The brass, the copper, kind of brings it all in. All right, I got some things to repair, uh, fix, and get back in order. And we'll, if we get a chance, I'll jump back on the bike. One of the things I do need to do is this has slipped off. I'm going to have to lower the entire bracket for the motor. Or take a link out, and it's probably honestly just easier to lower the whole thing, slip that back on, and then shove it back up. Because it is off on the back side, as well as the top. It's, it just got knocked probably in the hanging it up and down in the carport for the last few years. So we'll get back on that and put all this stuff to good use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and... Look forward to hearing from you in the comments section down below.